hi guys welcome back to my channel this is just ash here as you can see by the title down below today is gonna be a drugstore makeup haul and just a few things that i picked up from my local cvs and walgreens so if you like these types of videos please thumbs up and let's just get right into it so not in any particular order um the first product is the elf powder brush and this is how it looks um this is a repurchase for me um i this is about the third one i purchased the first one of course fell apart and then i have one in my collection and i just wanted to buy a backup and this is super soft it is synthetic fibers and this is how it looks and yeah definitely a repurchase the next one is another elf product and it's the waterproof eyeliner pen and sorry if you're getting a glare but it's a pretty thin um i think it's a felt tip a felt tip pen and it's the color cafe i wanted to pick up um like a dark chocolate liner for days that i want to look a little bit natural and not have that dark black liner pretty decent and this is how it looks right here pretty good payoff and this is in there um i think this was a dollar no two dollars to be exact i don't think they have a dollar line anymore so everything is getting bumped up a dollar so i guess they're trying to step their game up i see you elf um the next elf product just continuing with the elf um it's the blush palette in dark i've seen many reviews on this and i heard great things about it and definitely wanted to pick it up so this is how it looks and wow this is a pretty big pretty big um mirror and it comes with four shades and i'm really liking this shade right here one of them this shade here it has a bit of shimmer in it so let me just swatch it i don't know if it, the, it's gonna pick it up but that's really pretty let me see the other one this is the lighter one i i don't think i'm gonna be using it for my complexion but probably as an eyeshadow and this one here this is this one here right here and let me see oh this one is pretty they are pigmented i'm just not great at swatches and this color here is the one I said I like and this is how it looks that is much better so this one is this so definitely a great buy it's a matte packaging so it's gonna get quite dirty with any makeup so. and I have some physician formula and this one is a mascara but the mascara has argan oil it's a multitasking miracle volumize and lengthens add shine nourish and conditions so this is how it looks I don't want to open it because I'm already using a mascara and once you open it I feel like you need to st start using it so well, that goes for mascaras because they have a shorter um, shelf life, I think. Or, And this is another Physician Formula. This one is, again, a eyeliner. It's the Matte Lacquer. And it's a flexible velvet full through tip. So that's pretty cool. Let me see how this looks like. So, 
this is how it looks. Pretty decent size. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at, I don't know if you're going to be able to, it's a stopper that comes in the tip. So it makes it probably much easier of how it's made. So I don't know. Gotta get good at this. So that was that. Next I picked up some new Wet n Wild products. I know they came out with a few new um, products. I have been seeing reviews on their foundation that they just launched. I wasn't able to find dark shades in my CVS. Maybe it was because of the area, but I'm on the hunt for it just to let you guys know. But I did pick up the folded, fo photo focus concealer corrector tongue twister. Um, this is the darkest I think they have and this is how it looks. Let me take it out. Let me see how it looks. has the wand applicator and this is how it looks and again I think this is the darkest shade oh I kind of like this this it might be coming off a little lighter like extremely too light for my complexion but I think I can work with this this one I see you where and why I see you drugstores so yeah Definitely pick that up. I think this was like $4.99. I don't know. I was just picking up stuff. Um, this one is another Wet n Wild. It's the gel lip liner and the color. Sorry if I didn't tell you the colors of these things. This one is dark cocoa in the concealer. Dark cocoa. And this is the lip liner in Gone Burgundy. Gone Burgundy. This one, I don't think the packaging is of a burgundy color. It's more of a mauve. So, and it's a wind up. I think this is more of a mauve. Ooh, this is creamy. And this is how it looks right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But this is how it looks. Let me see if I can make it a little bit wider. Yeah, this is really good. And the e.l.f. liner has dried down pretty good. So this is the gel lip liner. And the last, I think, the last Wet n Wild product is a lip product. And this is also new. And what color is this? Goth Topic. Goth Topic. And this is a dark color. So I picked it up to pair with the liner. But now thinking about it, I don't think the liner is going to be good for it. I probably just use the liner as a all over lip color. But this is gone. I said gone. Gone burgundy was the lip liner. This one is got topic. And I'm glad that they put the name at the bottom because I know some companies like to put it on the wrapping that you're going to take off. But. They put it at the bottom as well. And this is a felt tip. And this is how it looks. Where am I gonna swatch this? It's thick. I could say that. And this is how it looks right here. And I guess I'm gonna give it time to dry if it dries down to a matte or a semi gloss but pretty color I really like that so this is goth topic oh wait I have one last wet and wild 
and this is the mega glow i've been searching high and low for this highlighter here and this is how it looks this is the mega glow highlighter and when i've seen all the reviews on this highlighter trust me i ran out to my local walgreens and cvs and not one of them had it i think i picked up the old highlighter in the white packaging but i cannot find this to save my life so i just gave up on it and then one day one day was like yesterday when i was in walgreens I was like trying to keep myself from walking through the hair product and makeup aisle and I was like no and I walked down the makeup aisle and I was like are you freaking kidding me they finally got it in along with the foundation that Walgreens actually had the deepest shade I think in the photo focus foundation from Wet n Wild and I was shocked I was taken back like you know usually they stop at the the shade right before they hit like the last three darkest shade and I definitely wanted to pick this up so I picked it up and let me just crack this bad boy open I'm like super excited oh my gosh could they make this any more difficult to open and this is called crown of my canopy I don't remember what the second one is called I think the second one is more of a peachy a peachy tone and this one is more of a rose gold and yeah can I get it open like this year or Well, that's a good thing that they make these things hard to get into, seeming that it is like a drugstore product. And, you know, people go in the drugstore and open and test things because they don't have a tester out. So, so this is how it looks. Oh, gorgeous. This light is like blinding it. But, oh, right there. So, yes, definitely going to swatch this bad boy. And this is how it looks. Oh. Look, it's my skin complexion. Yes, comes through highlighter. I am living for this. I am really, really living for this. So again, this is Crown of My Canopy, and this is from Wet n Wild. I think this is about $3.99 or $4.99. Very affordable. Definitely go run and pick that up if you don't have it yet. Then I went moseying on down to Revlon. And I got their ultra high high definition matte lip color. And I got this color. It's coming off a bit of a fuchsia color. But in person it's a bit of a red. And it's called what is it? Romance. It is called Romance. And this is how it looks. It's the doe foot is flat on both sides as you can see like where am i gonna swatch this mm. nice smell and this is how it looks romance from revlon And another one of Revlon Ultra High Definition Matte Lip Colors. And this is how it looks. This one is actually a fuchsia color. And it's called Intense. Intensity. Intense. And again, this is how the doe foot looks. Where am I going to put this? It looks right there pretty pretty pink perfect for the springtime coming up so thank you guys for watching if you like these types of videos please do thumbs up and subscribe it is free and I'll leave all the information on the products that I've purchased down in the description box and have a great day